The Cybertruck is coming soon, and we can't wait to see it in action. This futuristic pickup will be unveiled in less than three weeks, and it promises to revolutionize the electric vehicle market. How much will it cost? Our guess is between 60 to 85 grand. But that's not all. The tri-motor version of the Cybertruck has revealed some impressive specs, such as a weight of 6,890 pounds, which matches what Elon Musk said before. And the towing capacity? It's not 14 thousand pounds anymore, how does the Cybertruck achieve such amazing performance? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel, and thank you for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now and hit that bell icon to get notified of new videos. Now let's dive into today's topic. Lately, matte black Cybertrucks have been appearing quite frequently and they look quite unique. This coating comes at a price of around $8,000, but we still value the original version more because it showcases distinctive features and accentuates its angular design. Tesla seems to be updating the official imagery for this pickup, so there may have been some display errors in recent orders. With the launch approaching, a multitude of details have been unveiled and specifications are what we're most interested in. The latest information can be found on Matthew Donegan Ryan's X or the TFLEV YouTube channel. So how are Cybertruck's specifications better than expected? Well, the expected specifications for the pickup have been leaked, although we can't fully trust them until this vehicle actually exits the Giga Texas gate. However, these leaked specifications seem realistic and aligned with previously verified data. So let's first discuss the weight of this pickup. About, I don't know, 7,000 pounds. Whoa. Six th but there's different versions, but six, six, 7,000 pounds. It's, 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 it's like similar to, like it's a heavy truck. Like a Ford F-250 or something like that. Yeah. In the recorded episode with Joe Rogan, when asked about the weight of the Cybertruck, Musk confirmed it would range from six to 7,000 pounds, depending on the motor version. Meanwhile, in a video analysis by TFLEV, they highlighted the curb weight of this pickup as 6,670 pounds for the dual motor and 6,890 pounds for the tri-motor. We could observe a difference of only 220 pounds between the two versions. A coincidence we've noticed has led to a hypothesis that the two versions of the Cybertruck might share the same battery pack, a practice Tesla has previously employed with the Model S and S Plaid models, having curb weights of 4,784 pounds and 4,940 pounds respectively, a relatively small difference. Specifically, our suggestion is that the dual motor and tri-motor versions of the pickup will have the same battery pack size but different maximum power outputs and torque values. According to our initial speculation, this could be the case, though there's no assurance that the weight provided by TFLEV is 100% accurate. Based on the wheelbase measurements and the energy density of second generation 4680 cells, a single layer battery pack could potentially have a maximum capacity of around 140 kilowatt hours. This aligns with the approximate value of 140 kilowatt hours mentioned by Matthew Donick and Ryan last month. A 140 kilowatt hour battery would provide an estimated EPA range of 330 to 350 miles. However, for a Cybertruck with a range of 500 miles, a battery capacity of around 200 kilowatt hours may be necessary. This would require a pack with one and a half layers of cells. Tesla might delay implementing this until around next year due to the complexities in production and the need for stringent safety controls related to thermal issues. Tesla may accelerate the production of this new battery generation before the Cybertruck has a sufficient quantity to supply the 500 mile version. They might also want to wait to release a larger pack until there is a higher energy density for the 4680 cells because adding an additional 60 kilowatt hours to the current battery would increase the weight of the truck by approximately 570 pounds. However, at the current leaked weight, it is still lighter than the 7,148 pounds of the Rivian R1T. How do you feel about the Cybertruck's weight and battery pack when it launches later this month? Apart from the truck's weight, T TFLEV also provides images capturing the rear bed, indicating that the Cybertruck will come equipped with three additional power outlets, one 220-volt outlet and two 110 outlets. 
Including these outlets, especially the 220V one with an NEMA 14-50 plug, this suggests that the Cybertruck's energy capacity could range from 120 to 150 kilowatt hours. Comparatively, a Tesla Powerwall has a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery. This implies that the Cybertruck is equivalent to around 10 Tesla Powerwalls. The average daily household energy usage is approximately 30 kilowatt hours. This means that the Cybertruck could power your home for about four to five days. Considering the price of the Tesla Cybertruck, you could potentially choose to buy it instead of a $10,000 Tesla Powerwall to power appliances, other vehicles, or even your home. Additionally, the image also seems to show what appears to be a tie-down point beneath the outlets. This new addition transforms the Cybertruck into a portable Powerwall with added convenience. What do you make of this addition? Earlier, we made an episode comparing the size of the Cybertruck to the Rivian R1T with these two trucks parked side by side. However, with the recently revealed more accurate measurements, let's compare them again to give you a more visually clear representation. Based on the images posted by Matthew Donegan Ryan, the length of the mentioned Cybertruck is 18.6 feet or 223 inches. When compared to the market, this length is slightly shorter than many trucks on the road. For instance, the Ram 1500 and F-150 Lightning have a full length of around 230 inches. However, the Cybertruck still outperforms the Rivian R1T with its smaller bed length of 217.1 inches. Overall, the Cybertruck's length falls somewhere between average and full-size dimensions without creating any significant barriers. In the mirrorless state, we also get a width dimension of 79.9 inches, which we believe appears to be a deliberate choice to avoid the regulations that come into effect at 80 inches because at this or more than this size, trucks are required to install additional lights for safety reasons. Sneaky, sneaky, Tesla. With a height of 70 and a half inches, the Cybertruck is shorter than other trucks on the market. This provides some advantages for the truck as a lower height results in a lower center of gravity, aiding in stability during movement on the road. Think of a narrow parking garage. The Cybertruck might find it easier to navigate in and out of restricted areas such as garages or ramps, and the height can also be further adjusted through the suspension system. In comparison, the F-150 Lightning, a competitor to the Cybertruck, has a height of 77 inches, while the Rivian measures up to 78.2. The length of the truck bed is an, is an important factor when considering the hauling and utility capabilities of a pickup truck like the Cybertruck. With a length of 6 feet or 72.8 inches and a width of up to 51 inches, we believe these dimensions will provide ample cargo space to meet users' needs. This makes the Cybertruck a stable choice for transporting items or cargo of modern moderate size that the driver may need to move to a different location. The combination of length and width can also offer flexibility in arranging and transporting cargo efficiently. However, unlike the leaked dimensions that convinced us quite a bit, the reported cargo volume for the front in this source raises doubts for us, even disappointment, as the total volume stated as 7.1 cubic feet and weighing 420 pounds. If these figures are accurate, then the Cybertruck's front trunk will have significantly less space compared to other trucks. For instance, the F-150 Lightning has a trunk volume of 14.1 cubic feet, while the Hummer and Rivian have storage volumes of 11 cubic feet. When examining the photos, we cannot pinpoint a specific number, but it's unlikely to be 7.1 cubic feet. On the other hand, the Lightning has a larger front trunk because it replaced the space that the motor used to occupy. But in the end, your guess about the size of the Cybertruck's trunk volume is as good as ours. So let us know in the comments down below what you think it is. All in all, the Cybertruck appears to sit between a full-size and mid-size truck. It might be more of a four adult truck than a five adult one, offering five seats, but potentially more comfortable with only four adults. The Cybertruck still leads in terms of spaciousness when compared to everything else on the market. This is intriguing due to its relatively lower overall height and the fact that the height of the Cybertruck only reaches its peak at one point, the apex of the triangular shape, rather than having a flat roof. However, the rear headroom still seems quite good from any angle. The specifications from TFLEV are are likely around 80% applicable to the upcoming Cybertruck, and we'll need to confirm the remaining 20% on the day of launch. We are particularly keen to learn about the dimensions of the frunk volume with the most accurate figures. But what about the towing capacity? How has that changed? 
If you pay attention, you'll notice that Tesla is investing quite a bit in testing the towing capabilities of this off-road vehicle. Recently, we've seen it towing a boat or a Genesis Supreme 19SS toy hauler travel trailer, weighing about 5,340 pounds. From early October until now, the Cybertruck has been actively testing its towing capacity with a variety of loads, suggesting that Tesla may want to emphasize this feature. Going back to the leaked information from TFLEV, the towing capacity of the Cybertruck varies significantly, dropping to 11,000 pounds, which is 3,000 pounds lighter than the manufacturer's stated 14,000. However, a reasonable hypothesis could be that the 11,000 pound towing capacity is for the dual motor version, as towing rate are likely different between the dual motor and tri-motor versions. If this turns out to be true, then the 14,000 pound capacity may be intended for a high-end version with tri-motor or quad motors, a detail that Tesla has not yet disclosed. Tesla might be focusing on developing a special towing capability for another version of the Cybertruck known as the Cybertruck Plaid. Musk has expressed high expectations for this version in previous statements. What's notable is that the towing capacity of the Cybertruck depends not only on a single factor but is related to an integrated system, including the drivetrain, braking system, frame structure, and notably the capability of the tongue. This information reveals that the max tongue weighs 1,110 pounds. At the 11,000 pound towing capacity, the Cybertruck Plaid is posing an interesting challenge, especially when compared to its competitors. For example, the F-150 Lightning has a towing capacity ranging from 7,700 to 10,000 pounds depending on the model while the R1T has a towing capacity of up to 11,000 pounds. The competition among pickup trucks is not just about electric performance and design, but also about robust and versatile hauling capabilities. And the Cybertruck Plaid seems to be gearing up to face these challenges steadfastly. So do you think that this 11,000 pound towing capacity is meant for the dual motor version? Or do you think that maybe Tesla skimmed off the top a bit there? Recently, the Cybertruck has demonstrated its outstanding towing power with various types of vehicles. More particularly impressive is its ability to effortlessly tow a heavier than 6,000 pound F-150. Earlier, it simultaneously towed a Model Y and a trailer with a combined weight also reaching 6,000 pounds, whereas the Model Y weighed 4,500 pounds. The ongoing tests of the Cybertruck also include towing an ATC trailer, which is considered a ROM 300 car trailer, according to the company's website. This not only showcases its heavy hauling capabilities but also demonstrates versatility in facing various challenges. With the ability to tow the SpaceX Starship Raptor engine weighing around 3,500 pounds and even navigating a 24-foot trailer weighing 4,404 pounds on a California highway, the Cybertruck is setting a new standard for flexibility and durability in the world of modern pickup trucks even before reaching Tesla's officially stated towing capacity. While the pickup truck has not yet towed an object exceeding 10,000 pounds to demonstrate its towing capabilities as officially announced, we don't know what might happen soon. Tesla could potentially release any towing test videos for Cybertruck tomorrow to prove its capabilities. Nevertheless, we are eagerly awaiting the delivery event day by day, during which Tesla continues to focus on intense tests like the Tommy Gun, off-road in the desert, or even recent tests in Alaska. The manufacturer is utilizing every moment to obtain the most accurate evaluations before the vehicle reaches the customers, and this is praiseworthy for Tesla. A 24-hour day is too long to wait for this pickup, and we believe that it will create a media frenzy with impressive specifications or features that Tesla has not yet disclosed. Counting down, we have about 18 more days to welcome this pickup truck out of the gates of Giga Texas. The questions we pose are how many units will be delivered, who the lucky customers receiving this pickup truck will be, and most importantly, will its price range between $60,000 to $85,000. We hope it'll be shared by its owners soon. According to the leaked information from TFLEV, we can trust about 80% of it because it aligns closely with our expectations for the Cybertruck. The weight in particular is surprising as it may be below 7,000 pounds accompanied by a range of other stable dimensions. Additionally, the towing capacity has sparked various hypotheses about distinct specifications for different versions, and the Cybertruck Plaid is highly anticipated due to the perceived excellence in its potential motor. Just taking a look around the Fremont test track, two Tesla Cybertrucks are making exciting laps. These electric trucks seem to serve not only as acceleration
motion tests, but also as visually appealing test drives outside the Fremont factory. Tesla has opened up the Cybertruck test track on public roads for several months, allowing us a clearer evaluation of the final appearance of this pickup before deliveries begin later this month. While the unique design of the Cybertruck has garnered attention, what's particularly noteworthy is the absence of any torque testing units, an experience Tesla typically conducts to assess the performance of its electric vehicles. Tesla exudes confidence in the Cybertruck, announcing an acceleration capability from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds, though we are yet to witness the peak of its acceleration prowess. Speculations surrounding the potential performance capabilities of the Cybertruck are turning into reality as Elon Musk reveals an amazing performance version that will satisfy pickup enthusiasts. In terms of performance, some believe that the Cybertruck could rival the Plaid Model X, with the potential to accelerate from 0 to 60 in just two and a half seconds, an estimate that holds great promise for those passionate about power and speed. So what are your impressions of these Cybertruck specifications before its official launch, and what price range do you anticipate from Musk? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. This video was designed to help you unwind and relax. So did you enjoy it? If so, please show your support by liking the video and becoming a part of the Tesla Car World community. Just click that subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our amazing content. We appreciate your comments and your time. So for that, we thank you for watching and we hope to see you again soon. In the meantime, take care and have fun.